So a change happening at all the versions of Maka has to do with the Element Attacks Translator. Um, one of the challenges uh, working with Excel data has always been that um, as changes happen on the office side, a lot of times the connection components Maka uses become invisible to the application, and then users have to uh, go about uh, finding a way to fix them. Uh, in fact, the problem happens so often that there is a knowledge base article specifically on troubleshooting the, the limited text translator because it comes up on a regular basis. Um, to fix this problem, uh, I have went about uh, replacing the code that uses Excel and I'm using uh, native components to actually work directly with either the binary or the uh, XML. Excel data files. So starting in the next update, you will see on the Mac version uh, for the first time support for reading uh, Excel data. On the Windows version, you will see some changes to how the uh, processing of Excel data happens. So the first thing you'll notice in the options in the Windows version, there's always been an option here um, where you had to define which version of Office you're using because um, the OBDC connections are limited to um, a particular bit type, so your bit type had to correspond to the version of Excel that you had installed. For most users that was 32-bit, for more and more users though um, you're seeing 64-bit uh, show up, so users would have to remember to make this change. Uh, the setting can still be set, but uh, as of the next version of Mark Edit, this will no longer be um, used unless you select the option here to use the legacy settings. If you use the legacy settings, the tool will go ahead and use um, the Excel OBDC connections. Um, if unchecked, and it'll be unchecked by default, the tool will use the new process. As far as the user is concerned, they really won't notice a lot of difference. So if I go ahead and select an Excel file, uh, just like previously, you'd find your Excel file. Um, we'll go ahead and select it. Now a couple of things that you'll notice right away. So the first thing is that you'll notice that the tool filled in the sheet name. That didn't happen before. You'll also see that the Unicode encoding was checked. The other thing that may be exciting for folks is that previously, um, the way the OBDC connections work, you can only have uh, Latinate data and no special characters. Um, as of the next update, it won't matter. Whatever your sheet name is, that's fine. As long as the sheet name is valid, uh, you can use that value. So here we have an example of data that's in Unicode um, in Greek. And so I can go ahead and select my test. And when we go next, it'll work just like it had done in the past. You see the data gets pulled over. I have a template for this. I'm going to import our template, finish the process, and just like before, process is done. Um, and that's it. From the user's perspective, hopefully this gets to be a lot easier because what it's going to do is it's going to remove um, issues related to numbers um, getting converted into scientific notation or something that's unreadable. Um, for users, it'll remove uh, the OBDC connection errors um, or the errors that show up when you update Office and suddenly you can't see, Mark Edit can't see the uh, components to, can't see Excel. Um, it should remove all of that. It should make it so that the tool just works. Um, as a benefit, what it also means is that since we're not relying on Microsoft's uh, connector, uh, this tool can be rolled into um, the Mac OS build and the Linux build now. So for the first time, um, you'll be able to interact directly with Excel data um, on those two platforms as well. Uh, sometime tonight, I'll probably record the video of what it looks like on the Mac side, um, but these are the changes that you'll see uh, specifically on the, uh, the Windows version.